Years of conflicts and underdevelopment in the country has forced many Afghan children to work in illegal but lucrative opium trade. Despite Afghanistan government efforts to eliminate child labor and the illegal trade, not much difference can be seen on the ground. A report. In the run-up to the major poppy harvest in May and June, 13-year-old Nagibola is out on his family field in remote Pash district of Zari in Afghanistan's southern province Kandahar to help his father prepare for the big harvest. He's not the only child as his six-year-old cousin Nazir is also towing on the family field, peeling and collecting sticky resin. These resins are destined for the world market in various forms of drugs including heroin and opium. According to the U.S. Department of Labor's 2014 list of goods produced by child labor or forced labor, opium production is one of the major sectors that rely on child labor in Afghanistan. This is largely due to lack of proper educational institutions in the war-torn country. According to reports, the violence has prompted the partial or full closure of more than 369 schools last year, affecting lives of more than 139,000 children. Even though growing poppy for opium is illegal in Afghanistan, farmers have largely ignored government warnings and continue cultivation, blaming years of war and instability. They argue that it is the only lucrative work that can feed their families. On the other hand, Afghan government claims that efforts to eradicate poppy fields are on full swing and results are gradually showing on the ground. مش په دوامدار ډول د موادو مخدرو سره د مبارزې د وزارت سره په تماس کې یو ترڅو دوی دغه د مصارفاتو په برخه کې امکانات هر څونه ژر ولایت انتقال کې ترڅو موږ د کمپین پیل سی د نه پیل اصلي لاتې د د وزارت زوف او نه رسیده ګیره Afghanistan's poppy fields supply more than 90% of the world's heroin. Opium production is also considered one of the major sources of funding for Afghan Taliban.